right, welcome to another Inside the Hashes exclusive interview. I am here with Mr. Derek McFall, running back from Tyler High School in Tyler, Texas. Listen, Derek, welcome. Thank you for being on with me today, man. Yes, sir. Hello. So, listen, I've seen the highlights, seen the game tapes. Listen, interviewers would love this, and I know I'm going to love it, too. So let's dive right in. Can you tell me, how did you really get started, man? Because th- this is like God-given talent right here. Uh, how I got started, staying humble, staying focused. Uh, I stayed on track. I stayed focused on uh, school. Stayed on top of my grades. Stayed on top of everything. Worked hard, training. Stayed humble. Kept God first. God blessed me with the talent and with everything I got. All right. Um, so did you start in high school or did you start doing Pop Warner or how did you get started in football exactly? I started uh, Little League, Tyler Line, the Little Tyler Line. Uh, I remember just looking up uh, to the older, the Tyler High School. Uh, I used to go to their games, Tyler Line, because my brother used to play. And I used to look up to him everything he did and I just follow his step and come and be better, try to be better than what he was. Were you always a running back even in Little League? Did, we, did you have a Lily, lineman in you? In Little League, I played quarterback, linebacker, running back, everything. I was just a, a primary player, tried to help win Super Bowls and everything. Well, saying you got to get a couple Super Bowls. Don't matter what Little League you yes, have. Yes, sir. Got to win it. Yeah, I, I love it. But Moving on to now high school in Tyler, how is that acclimation for you? Um, we, we see that you have the, like I said, God given talent. You look like some of the one of the best athletes on the field whenever you step on it. But how is it football wise acclimating to more of the extras and those and the game plan thing? Uh, it got challenging. Uh, it took it took a lot. Uh, high school changed changed everything. Uh, more more of a it was harder to learn coming into high school, so it took a lot. It took a lot of maturity to, to become a high school football player. All right, listen, that maturity is definitely starting to pay off, man. A four-star recruit, number eleven running back in the state of Texas, and seventy-seven overall in the nation. How does that make yeah. you feel? Does that does that really reinforce your hard work that you've been putting in all these years? I'm not satisfied, so I'm trying to be number one. So it's 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 it's, it's work. You got to go work work harder, so to be number one. So I just look at it like some I can look forward, work harder. Don't just be satisfied to what to what I'm doing now. Just go harder. But killing it right now. I'm, I'm loving this. And okay. If you want to be the best, you got to keep working harder. And I love the energy. I love the drive. And I think that's actually what a lot of schools have been noticing as well. That drive that you have. Because yes, I'm looking here and I'm I'm scrolling, right? I'm, keep scrolling, though, because there's a lot of offers here for you. And yeah. they're not any little time programs. We're talking about Alabama, Arkansas, Baylor, Colorado, Houston, just to name a few. Tell me how getting all these offers are really reinforcing that as well. I, I know there's got to be a lot. Uh, getting all these offers, it's, it's a blessing because when I was little, I, that's all I used to want. So getting all these offers is just a blessing. And just just stay humble. Always just stay humble and never just be satisfied with what you got. Always be that kid just, just because you got all the offers. Don't. Don't not be who you is or who you used to be. Just be be the same person. Uh, it helped me. It helped me a lot. Uh, get through everything. I know it's gonna be stressful now, but it's just about the process and keeping God first. Because God gonna always make a way for us. Listen, that that's one honest thing. Man. Love that statement right there. God is definitely gonna make a way, and He definitely made a way for you. This past season, I believe, okay. had 16 total touchdowns. I know two so, from just kickoff, which were incredible, might I add. But you know already you're scoring touchdowns, and you're not just scoring from a short distance, but a far distance. Is that something that you guys game plan for, or is that just 
you getting the ball in your hand? Me getting the ball in my hand. Uh, I just like I just like running the ball. You see, uh, just give, just give me the ball anytime I can to help my team win. It's not all about me. So my team my teammates help me do all uh, the long run, kick off the turn. They help me. So I give credit to all. Listen, I, I love that you said you gotta give credit to the team. And I'm working for them because they're doing a lot of work. And even in some of the t things I've seen from you, you're a great running back out of the backfield, whether it's on the sweep, whether it's in the pistol, the eye. And you're a good receiver split out wide. But what really took to me was a particular play I've seen in your highlights. Too. It was against a team with orange and white. I'm sorry for not knowing the team's name particularly, but your quarterback was scrambling. You are all already on a runoff play, and you took their opposing quarter cornerback and put him into your yeah. sideline yeah. around yeah. your guy, and you made sure that he knew that was your win. Yeah. What made you do that? Is is that for the guys? Is that because you know what they do for you, so you're just trying to reciprocate? Well, it's, it's more like just do your job type. That was my job to block, block for my quarterback. So I'm, I'm doing everything I can do to protect my quarterback from getting hurt. So it's all about effort. You gotta give effort. When you get in the ball and when you're not, it's all about effort. Listen, that's one thing you cannot teach is effort. And I love the effort on that play. I love it, I love it, I love it. Um, but going into next year, how are you feeling? Do you feel like this is going to be more of a breakout season for you? Some people already probably said last year was your breakout, but do you think you can build upon that and get better? Yes, yeah, sir. I feel like this year it's going to be a move. I'm, I'm, I've been working all summer, so all this summer it just it's just going to be a movie. People just going to have to wait to see what I bring. So, ain't too much I can say. I, I can't wait to see it. I'm definitely going to have to be tuned in now and. I, I love what's going on here, man. Young guy from Tyler doing his thing on a gridiron. Can't have it any better, man. But listen, Derek, I just wanted to thank you for having this interview with me. Thank you for all of our Inside the Hatches listeners. But before we go, Derek, are you ready to play our little game? I have a little game I always play with contestants that come on for an interview, just so everyone gets to know them just a little bit better. All right, so are you ready? Sir. All right, so first up, favorite superhero? Favorite superhero? Superman. Superman. <laughs> Easy answer. Yeah. But I love favorite TV. TV show? TV show. All American. If you count that as a TV show, count that. That's a TV show if I've seen one. Yes, That's sir. a TV show. All right. Yes, favorite video game? Madden. Mm, great choice. Had it up earlier. Um, but last but not least, what's a hidden talent that no one would expect from you? Uh, I don't know. I can rap. I say I rap. You can rap. All right. Give me four. Yeah, I, I said four. I need four. I, got, <laughs> I gotta have some. I gotta have some music with it. I ain't got. I ain't got that. Listen, I, I love the acapellas, man. I love it. But listen, another time, man. Another time. I got but, you. Thank you again, Derek, for this great interview. And thank okay. you for all of our Inside the Hatch listeners for joining us once again on an exclusive interview, interview with Inside the Hatches. Uh, please go ahead and make sure you follow us on all of our social medias, whether it's Facebook at Inside the Hashes Group, Twitter at Inside the Hash and on Instagram at Inside the Hash. And please, please, please make sure you follow the Apex of Football at www.insidethehashes.com where we have all of our exclusive content, interviews, blogging, gaming, and podcasting. And this is Darren signing off.